wrenches. This is an adjustable wrench, sometimes called a crescent wrench because it kind of has a shape of a crescent, which is a curved shape like edge of a moon. So it's adjustable, make it larger or smaller. It's great when you have to loosen or tighten something without putting a ton of force because otherwise you only have three points of contact and you'll round it over. This is a pipe wrench. Obviously it's for pipes and you can open it and close it. Just make sure that you get the pipe all the way in until it touches the back. And this is meant to be a little loose. If you're, when you're using this, you always want to go to this closes on it. So you want to pull this way. If you pull the other way, you can see it opens the jaw and then it won't grab the pipe. So that's a common problem where people put it on the wrong direction or try to pull the wrong direction. And then you have what's called a set size wrench. This one is called a double open end because both ends are open. And these come in all kinds of sizes, metric or American. American would be your fractions like 13 16 or a quarter inch. Metric would be millimeters and you have to decide whatever bolt or nut you're using, which it is. And if you don't get it right, you will round it off. This is called a combination wrench because it has one open side and one closed side. And they also have wrenches where both sides are closed. They even have some that are like sockets where you can ratchet it. And then there's specialty wrenches and there's hundreds of those. I'm only going to show you one because the most common you're going to use are your combination wrench with the open side on and the closed side for your adjustable wrench. So this is a basin wrench. Plumbers use this to get up underneath the sink behind where the faucet is on the bottom where you can't get your arm up there. So this goes up there. This goes onto the nut and then you can twist it in order to loosen or tighten it.